Good morning everybody, welcome back to my vlog channel. I'm sat by this lovely bookcase. I thought it looked a little aesthetic, at least in the background. I was trying to get a good angle. It doesn't really work with the light coming from this angle. It just makes sense for you to see like what's down there and that is boring, you don't want to see that. So I tried to, I tried to make it cute, it hasn't really worked. But good morning, welcome back to my channel. Today, little busy but not feeling, not feeling too overwhelmed. I've already ticked some things off my list. And basically, okay, so you know how I said that um, I struggle with organization, I struggle getting things done. I really struggle, mainly, well, well procrastination, top of the list. But I also struggle with <laughs> making lists and never doing what's on the list. Like I seem to enjoy, I, I, I weirdly enjoy making a list. So I'll just make lots and lots and lots of lists and then not actually tick anything off, I'll just make them. Um, it's a really weird little habit that I seem to have. And every day when Nick gets home, I'll be sat on the bed with my lists out and he's like, Jazz, are you gonna do anything with, this, with these lists? And I'm like, I don't, I don't know. Like I'm hoping to, that's the plan, <laughs> but it doesn't seem to be working. So I was trying to explain to Nick the issue and the reason I have so many lists and honestly there's so many lists for like so many different things and I struggle, you know that I struggle with poor memory, I struggle keeping things in my brain so I write them down on a list but then I've got so many lists for different things and then I forget that lists exist and so I'll make a new list that's the same of another list but I've forgotten that I have that list and I've got so many lists of different things and then I'm trying to organise what to film and where and if I'm going to film it here and edit it here then I need to upload it here and all of these moving parts and I was like I don't I just need like one place where I can just just I don't know how to do it like I don't have a schedule and it really really annoys me and also there are moving parts because if I schedule for example to film on a Tuesday which means that I can edit on a Wednesday and I can upload on a Thursday for example um if I then wake up on that Tuesday and I don't want to film the whole thing's ruined. Like, I don't mind working. I, like, on days when I don't want to film, it's not that I don't want to work. I'm happy to work. I'll edit, I'll research, I'll, like, order things, I'll do other things. But sometimes I just don't want to be on camera. So it's like, on those days, if I've scheduled in filming here, edit and upload, if I miss the filming day, everything's sort of... What's the word for that? Like, there's a word for that. Um, I need something where I can move things around. And Nick was like, well, rather than doing it on paper, why don't you do it online? Now tried online before, tried Google Calendar, I tried another app, I forget what it was called, and that was quite good, but it didn't work. I've tried making my own spreadsheet, that didn't work, although that was pretty good for moving things around in like groups and keeping, the, like, it was decent. So I started, I spent a lot of yesterday watching videos of planning apps and then downloading apps, trying them out, they didn't do what I wanted, moving on. I found an app called Notion pretty much kind of does what it kind of does what I want it to do. There are some features that it doesn't do which is upsetting to me but it it's kind of there. So yesterday planned everything out. We're good. I have everything planned and this morning I woke up, looked at my phone, clicked the app button and it just showed me what you need to do today. Not everything that's coming up, not all of this other junk, just here's your list of things to do today. And I was like okay Let's get started. So this morning, I've already ticked some stuff off. The only issue that I'm thinking could be an issue is I blooming love a little bit of novelty. I do. So part of me is thinking this works for me. Wasn't too overwhelming to look at my list today. Felt like I could do it. If I couldn't do it, I could move on tomorrow. Like it's fine, felt good to me. Another part of me is like, it's a novelty and you're doing it and enjoying it because it's a novelty. So we'll see how it goes, but for now, things have been sorted. I've already filmed uh, this for a little TikTok this morning. I need to butt. This I got when we were on holiday. It was the last one in the shop and it's just a little jellyfish in glass. But this jellyfish glows in the dark and it looks really cool. I actually really like it. It didn't say anywhere on it like glow in the dark. I just found out one day when I turned off the lights in my office and there was a blue light coming from the corner and I was like, what? Um, gone way off schedule. Anyway, did this, filmed that, happy with that, very very happy with it being here. We're gonna try and get a big blue, like a deep blue, like a royal blue tub chair for here and like a coffee table, I think is what we're gonna try and do, which I'm really excited about because this bay window that you're sort of sat in right now for the longest time was Nick's office and we couldn't really do anything with it. 
but now that he's moved, we can do some stuff. So bookcase, not really a bookcase, shelving unit done. Need to get a chair and a coffee table and then every morning I can sit and have a little coffee with you on the coffee chair. So that's my morning. I'm gonna see if there's something else I can tick off my list. And then you and I, we're gonna make, we're gonna try to make some Timbits. Now, they're not really tim Timbits, donut holes, bits of dough, whatever you wanna call them. So the other day, I don't know if you will have seen this video yet, but I made donuts with Greek yogurt and self-raising flour. Genius, by the way, they taste really good. They do not taste exactly like donuts, but you know what, they're not far off. And I actually preferred them to the cakey donuts that they sold in Tim Hortons. So they were pretty good for Greek yogurt and self-raising flour. Um, but I made those the other day and then we had Timbits at the weekend and I was like, oh, I prefer having like little bits. I feel like in the video where we went to Tim Hortons, it came across like I didn't like the Timbits and to be honest, the flavors weren't that great. It tasted more like cake than donut. But what I did love, and I didn't express this in the video, what I did love is that one bite, each bite was like a different flavor. I am a sucker for snacking. Snacking and doing this motion. I'm pretty sure there's like a psychological study type thing around snacking and people liking this. It's very similar to smoking and how when people quit smoking, they also miss the motion of smoke. Not that this is the motion of smoking. I'm like that with snacking. Like sometimes I'll want to snack on something, even though I'm not hungry, I just want to snack. So the Timbits were really great because rather than having one donut and eating it, I was like, ooh, jam donut. Ooh, well, there was no jam donut, but ooh, birthday cake donut, chocolate donut, weird apple juice donut. Like, loved that. So I thought I would make my own and have a little, little donut hole Timbit party while I watch Love Island tonight. So we're gonna go ahead and make some two ingredient donut bites, but we're gonna flavor them different flavors. So just one with chocolate maybe, one with just icing sugar, one with some sprinkles. We're gonna get creative, decorate our Timbits. I'm very excited about it. Um, but in the meantime, I have some bits and bobs to do. So I'm gonna go tick some things off my list. <sighs> I've already failed, I've already messed up. So on my to-do list today, I had a TikTok to film an overnight curls, which meant that this evening, just before bed, I wanted to put in the, what's it called? Like the overnight band thing to test it. This morning when I woke up and I saw curlers and TikTok, I thought that meant hot rollers. I don't know why. I mean, curling, I wanted to film this for TikTok anyway, but so I curled my hair. And even as I curled my hair, I was thinking, why have I planned to do this today? Because I really wanted to like corkscrew my hair today so that I could film with it in a bun and then tomorrow re-put it into a bun for when Nick and I go out. I was like, oh, I've, I really thought I was gonna corkscrew my hair, but obviously not, I'm filming hot rollers. No, Jasmine, you weren't meant to film hot rollers. It's bound to have teething issues slash me just not reading things correctly. What is making me feel very, very happy is, and I'm sure you can tell, the sun is out. The sun is out for the first time in a freaking, I swear, month. It's mid-July almost, and this is the first time I've seen sun in weeks. We are all set up a la kitchen. We are here, I have my Greek yogurt, I have my self-raising flour, then I have some icing sugar, which I also have Oh, this is not food coloring. I thought this was pink food coloring and I was like, oh, I'm gonna make some pink icing. It's pink writing icing. That's not quite as good. This is devastating. I have green food color gel, but not pink. I can do some white Timbits. I can do some with some sprinkles on. I can maybe do some dots in pink, but I could also do some green little things. I could dip some in some chocolate. I could put some melted white chocolate on them. We can just see what happens with those. First things first, coffee and mixing these. Two cups of flour to one cup of this, so two to one. One, two, three, four. I would also at some point like to learn how to make actual donuts, but I'll tell you which donuts I like. I like the donuts that you get like at Christmas markets. Does anyone else agree with this? Okay, maybe not if you're not British, you might not know what I'm referencing, but there are donuts from donut shops like Krispy Kreme and all of that kind of stuff. But then there are like Christmas market donuts. Christmas market donuts are the best donuts, like the little tiny ones. If I could learn how to make those, well, it would be really bad for my health <laughs> because I would be eating them 
all the time. Those are the best donuts in the world. I forgot how not easy to mix this is. It just doesn't, it has to be really shoved together to sort of mix. I bought this. Um, it's a deep fat fixer. It's for a main channel video. I'm going to be testing it. Basically, when you've got oil after you've been frying something, you can then apparently drop these little granules into the oil and then it solidifies it so that you can put it in a normal bin because you're not meant to throw oil down the drain but also it's not the easiest thing to dispose of. Please let me know how you get rid of your oil after you've been cooking with it. I absolutely love like baking and cooking and just filming it because I feel like I get to try something new i.e. making these. Haven't made these before. It's exciting. It's fun. I find cooking very therapeutic and baking. Like I find it very, very therapeutic. It's just nice to do. So I get to do that. But then I also feel like I get to chat while I'm doing it and I get to talk to you. So would you like to choose some topics for me to talk about when I'm filming these videos? Would you like to choose something for me to chat about. That can be, uh, my brain automatically goes boy issues, but it can be boy issues. I'd love to talk about boy issues. Um, can be boyfriend issues, can be relationship issues, can be parenting, parenting issues, as in, well, I don't have a child, so maybe not parenting the child, but it could be issues with your parents, could be family issues, money issues, budgeting issues, school, work, job, Whatever you fancy, let me know what kind of things you want me to discuss and give me some like, ooh, should I do like advice with jazz? Although I'm not the best at advice. No, do you know what? I feel like I'm pretty decent at advice. I shouldn't put myself down so much. You're gonna sit there. I'm gonna clean up this mess. Is my breakfast plate in shot? Is that, is that, I'm just gonna move this. Dough has been made. Do you know how hard it is to find Greek yogurt as well? I didn't realize this was a thing. It's so hard, to the point at which Sainsbury's doesn't even sell Greek yogurt. No, no, no. They sell multitudes. They have a whole aisle. Multitudes of Greek style yogurt, but zero Greek yogurt. I was going around every package like, please, can one of you be a Greek yogurt? I ended up having to go somewhere else to get Greek yogurt because they didn't have it. And I did quickly look into the difference between Greek style and Greek yogurt. And apparently Greek yogurt is like completely natural and has all of the stuff in it that you want. Greek style, they've added like sugars, preservatives, and that kind of stuff to it, which is fine, but I don't know if they affect the dough at all. And I know the last time I made this, I used Greek yogurt, so I was like, I'd rather just have another Greek yogurt. So I just bought the same Greek yogurt, but it meant driving all the way to Tesco when I was happily in Sainsbury's just without Greek yogurt. Um, so anyway, it's two to one self-raising flour to uh, Greek yogurt. It ends up as a little dough like this. It's pretty good. I don't think you can do the window pane test on it. You cannot. Who is watching Love Island? I feel like I want to talk about it, but at the same time, I realise a huge part of my audience won't be watching Love Island, so I feel like I'm alienating you by talking about Love Island, but at the same time... Whew. First off, I am absolutely shocked. Shocked I am about the number of people who are commenting that they can't believe Jax did what he did. Like, I could see that coming a mile off, the number of red flags that boy was giving. And like, the second, the absolute second that he walked into the villa, I was like, well, he's a player. You could just, I feel like I've just got player radar. I'm just like, he's a player, he's a player, he's a player. Like, I just feel like I can tell. As I was watching it, I was expecting, ooh, ooh, I was expecting more people to get onto that fact as the show progressed. I thought, oh, well now everyone else will surely know he's a player. And then when Castle Moore happened, I was like, well, obviously he's not staying with Paige. No way a girl's coming in and he's not testing himself. No way. But then the sheer number of tweets online being like, I can't believe what he did. I can't believe he said how much he liked Paige and then he's just moved on so fast. What do you mean? Was it not blindingly obvious? And I can almost guarantee right now, Paige is gonna take him back. Like, of course she will. He's gonna be all like, oh, I'm so sorry, I didn't mean to. It made me realize how good we are. And it made me realize how strong we are and what the bond's like that we've got. Blah, 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 blah. Rubbish, rubbish, rubbish. She's taking him straight back. 
just why are you taking them back? They're fools. I've put way too much water in here. Luca, I'm still very, very much on the fence with. He's a little bit more difficult to read. If you don't watch Love Island, I am so, so sorry, and you are welcome to skip ahead. Gemma, I didn't have the strongest dislike her for her at the beginning, but right now she's probably one of my favorite islanders, aside from Ekansu. No one can overtake Ekansu. But Gemma is up there, and I feel like she should, she could do better than Luca. It sounds really horrible, but Luca and his possessive ways very much remind me of my ex-boyfriend and it's giving me like, just move on. Gemma, just get out, get out while you still can, while it's still early. I have made some icing. Ekansu and Davide. They are my favorites. I love them, but I also don't have the most faith in their relationship. Like. I definitely think they really like each other. I think they get on really well and I want them to stay together. I kind of want them to win. I think they're both individually great. I think they're great together. But as a relationship, I'm like, I don't know. But then at the same time, there are a lot of relationships that I see and I'm like, how is that working? Like, I don't understand, but I love the relationship that they have. Like. They're just so cute together. They obviously really like each other. They laugh together. I love that they showed so much of their like little wine adventures. Like just love those two as a couple. Hazelnut spread, which when I filmed the two ingredient video, I took like a little scoop out of the top and that was all I used. I came back to this pot. That's how much has gone. I was like, what? I didn't use that much. Ask Nick about it. He was like, oh yeah, I've just, I just had a couple spoons. What do you mean you just, with what? Like on toast? He was like, no, no, while I was wandering around the kitchen looking for something to eat, I just had two spoons of it. Like heaped tables, not tablespoons, but like dessert spoons, heaped dessert spoons, massive. And I was like, okay, well, let's just work out how many calories that is. Almost 2000 calories, I think it was. So his daily calorie allowance in two spoons of chocolate. And he was like, Oh, I ate that and then like looked for something to eat because that was, he didn't even consider it a meal. 2,000 calories and he didn't even consider it food. I do not enjoy the whole fried food situation. It really scares me, the fact that there's hot, hot oil and it could splash out at any time. Andrew and Tasha. Tasha, I relate to her with the Andrew situation. Like I completely get where she's coming from, where he's just, too serious and like kind of gooey for her. And I get that, had an ex like that, like fully understand that while she likes him and while she enjoys spending time with him, she's like, but I'm not being me. Like I'm not my most vibrant self. I'm sort of dumbing my, not dumbing, dulling. I'm like dulling myself down for you. And I feel like that's really unfair on her that people are seeing it as she's lying because I don't think she is. I think she does like Andrew. I just think she wants more from a relationship. She wants someone that she can like bounce off and laugh with. You know, and Andrew is just a little bit like soppy, which to some people, perfect. To some people, Andrew is like perfect boyfriend. But to me watching, I'm like, he's boring. Like I wouldn't want to be sat with him, but I can understand how you might like him at the same time. And you've been put in that relationship and now all of this pressure's on you to stay in this relationship. And the weirdest thing about this whole Love Island thing, I realized I wasn't even going to talk about Love Island, but I seem to have gone off on a major tangent here. Pardon me. Everyone goes into it and every single person walks through that door like, oh, I'm just gonna like get with everyone, see how it is, like no one can hold me down. I don't care about stepping on toes, blah, blah, blah. They get in there and they go, oh, I've been paired with you, so I should probably stay with you. Everyone, aside from Ekin Sue. Ekin Sue is my favorite. She went in there and she went, yeah, I've been paired with you, cool. But actually he's all right, isn't he? Quite like him. Well, let me try a bit of that. Mwah. He's all right though. I want more people like Ekin Sue to go on that show. Just. It's more realistic. But I think because people have watched it in the past and they know that firstly, like a lot of people get to the final who have been together since the beginning. And then also because they're in these couples and they feel like they should, you know, weigh it out. Like those, cu those couples this year weren't even chosen by the Islanders and how many of them stayed as strong as they could? Why? Like get to know everybody. Why stay in that initial pair when it's literally one person who somebody else has picked for you. Makes no sense to me. We are slowly but surely getting closer 
to donut time. I saw a video um, on YouTube that's unusual. I normally say I saw a video on TikTok. I saw a video on YouTube um, of this like super top uh, like patisserie chef maybe he was. I don't know whether it was patisserie or baking or something. Um, and the way that he did the flour like the dusting onto the table he was just like Phew. and it spread out like a perfect little sheet of flour. It was very very uh, satisfying to watch. I think this size would work perfectly. So we're just gonna make some of those and I'm just gonna drop them in. Oh, this thing is blooming hot. I just accidentally brushed against that. It is hot. I would love to know your view on watching reality TV because I know so many people have an issue with it and they think it's so dumb and like you lack intellect if you watch reality TV, which we know isn't true. That's a ridiculous statement to make. But I'd love to know why you think, if you do think, it's stupid. Why you think it's stupid? Because to me, like I'm not necessarily defending reality TV, but I am in a way. It's the same as a film, but the characters are real. Like, why do you watch films? It's a story. It's completely made up. Why are you watching it? Why are you watch? Well, like, why do you care about other people's lives when you watch a story? Like, do you see what I mean? To me, watching a film is kind of the same. In a film, there's a pre-written storyline. Whereas in reality TV, there's no storyline available and you don't know where it's going. Like, it could go anywhere. So I feel personally like I don't see why people have such an issue with reality TV. So if you do have an issue, I would love to know like where that issue comes from, why you have an issue with it. I think that'd be quite interesting. I kind of just want to dunk one of these into my icing and see if I can just give a little quick icing coat. I don't think this icing is thick enough. Okay, wait, wait, there's too many things going on at once. My icing isn't quite thick enough, so I think, ooh, I think I'm just gonna add some more icing sugar to this. We have our little, I don't know, I don't know what to call them. I don't know whether to call them donut holes or Timbits. Like, surely that's what they are. They're the same thing. I've covered it in icing sugar. There we go. Oops, let's add some sprinkles, quick. I don't know what just happened. I feel like I made a little bit of a rash decision and just went a little bit mad with that. But that's okay. That's fine. That, we're just, that's fine. It's fine. Does that look cute? Just like a little mini donut? I just need to actually wait for the icing to like set and not melt off. I need to wait for these to cool down. It is also very, very warm in this room. They're still hot. And I know what you're thinking. Just wait for them to cool. I'm too impatient. <laughs> I'm too impatient to wait for them to cool. Actually, do you know what we'll do? We'll melt some hot chocolate in the meantime. I just caught a glimpse of myself in the mirror because I put some lipstick on. Um, why do I look like I've been dragged through a hedge backwards? My hair is like, I can't fully see this viewfinder, it's too far away. My hair's like fully sticking out all over the place. It's a mess. It's an absolute travesty. Oh wait, what if I just do this? Why didn't I just do that with the icing? Just dunk and then, oh, that's so much nicer. I really want some, oh, wait. Oh my goodness. I have some galaxy bar. Okay, we're going to be melting some galaxy bar and we're going to be covering one in galaxy bar. Yes, please. Oh, I'm so happy with this. Yeah, I think another five seconds, 10 seconds. I don't know. So we've got some galaxy ones, some white chocolate ones, some ones with sprinkled, but to be honest, kind of failed and I'm not really happy with them. They've got chocolate spread on them, but that's not gonna, <gasps> that's not gonna set. But what if I coat it in a layer of chocolate, let that set and then it'll be like a little chocolate surprise. I'm gonna do that. Just cause this isn't gonna set otherwise and it just looks silly. So I've covered it now. Oh, come on, tell me that doesn't look good. Oh, I've ruined it. No, I haven't. <gasps> oh, I've ruined it. Oh, it was going so well. What happened? Okay, we're gonna try again. Better, better, ruined it, ruined it, ruined it. Looks a little bit like a truffle. You could shock people and be like, do you want a truffle? And then give them a donut instead. That's kind of how I feel like Tim Hortons went. They were like, do you want a donut? And then they gave me a cake instead. It was a, it was a cake design, it was a little cake dis, 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 what is the word? Disguised. A little cake disguised as a donut. They look kind of cute. We'll let them be. We're okay with that. Cute. <gasps> and I didn't film it! Oh, that is so annoying. That is so annoying. Okay, they're done. I am going to wash up 
and then we're going to try one of my marvellous delights, which I'm very excited for. Do I need another coffee? Maybe. Okay, so these are my little baby mini donuts, or donut holes, or donuts. What makes a donut a donut? They could be cake pops for all you know. But what makes a donut a donut? Because it doesn't have to have a hole in it to be a donut, so surely they are in a way, mini donuts. Mini baby donuts, how cute are they? So I'm gonna go ahead and treat myself to this one, which is covered in white chocolate and a little smither of a, smither? A, a drizzle of galaxy, and we're gonna see what this tastes like. Mmm. -hmm. I think I prefer them hot when they've just come out of the oil and then a sprinkle of icing sugar. The chocolate's delicious, the donut's delicious, but the donut being cold isn't my favorite. I'm going to say goodbye now. There's a chance that there's more to this vlog, but I'm gonna say goodbye now just in case I forget to end this or carry this on. So I hope you did enjoy. Give it a thumbs up, talk to me in the comments, and I will see you guys very soon. Bye.